Hey, sweet friends. I wanted to um, say hello and um, show you guys what I got at the um, antique store the day after Christmas. I got a few goodies and um, I want to show you guys. So here we go. Um, first of all, I have this. Let me turn you around. Um, I got this sweet, sweet, sweet little Coca-Cola crate. It's just a small crate. See, it's just like as large as my hand, but isn't that adorable? It was five dollars and so um, our anniversary is in January so I put up this red Spanish Bible here a couple of my Dundee jars and um, my daughter's bouquet that she carried for us so um, I just thought that would make a sweet little display right down here I have my red um, thrifted marmalade jar um, the Dundee marmalade jar and I just love that so I have some silver spoons in there we're fixing to celebrate our 19th year, but um, I'm not sure I'll have to look up what the traditional stuff is. So, And here I have some sweet baby shoes coming out of a, um, pardon me, um, <clears throat> mm -hmm. what's this thing called y'all? A tureen, a soup tureen. So the other thing I got and... Wow, I don't know where it is. Hang on just a minute, let me figure out where it is. Um, I've kind of got a mess right here, and I also wanted to show y'all what I thrifted. So, let me show you first what I finished at the antique shop, so. This is the next thing I got at the antique shop, and I don't think he's really that old, but I think he's made to look old, and he was $5. It's just a little Russ primitive bear, and I just think he's just gorgeous. Okay, y'all. I cannot remember what the other thing I got at the antique store. I might find it, but um, I also wanted to show y'all this. Um, my husband got me this. It's an um, antique horse, and just it's just a wall hanging, but I just think it's beautiful. And it's I've got it right there between my um, as you you come in the front door here, and this is like the entrance to our office, so. Anyways, um, I just love the way it looks. He hung it right there for me. That's where I wanted it. So, I also recently um, got this off of Macari. Um, it was a little bit more than I wanted to pay, but I have a thing for rocking horses. So this is a um, immovable one. So it's got a, which is kind of nice. It's got two little blocks there that keep it from. But it's all wooden, hand carved and. Oh my gosh, y'all. It's way bigger than I thought. It's like two foot long and it's tall as well. So I just absolutely love it. I'll have to show you it from the other direction. I think I put it on my Instagram, but um, I just love it. So, and excuse um, Lily and Rose over here. She's naked because I have I am um, taking down Christmas, as you can tell. So um, I'm trying to put it in boxes and I thought I had several empty boxes, but I cannot find them. Um, so I may have to just dig out my old, um, just throw out some old stuff to make more room because I'm not buying more tins, more bins. We have plenty, so. So I'm also going to show you what I thrifted recently. This is one of the things I got a, um, no, I got this at the antique store and it was, um, there was a, um, vintage, Vintage days like a Christmas market days at Renninger's in um, Mount Dora, Florida and I got this little clabber girl baking powder tin at um, There and um, it was five dollars Now today I went to the thrift store and I got this sweet 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 little miniature set. Look how tiny it is now. It's tiny but it has a little tray and a little Santa pitcher, two Santa mugs on little saucers. Look how cute they are. Look at the little saucers. And a Santa, like a cookie jar. I just think it is absolutely precious. And I paid a dollar for that. $1.99, I think. Um, and this little Santa, um, he reminds me a lot of my vintage Santas. Um, and it says 1950. I don't know what it is. And I don't really care. It's just very pretty, very primitive looking. I love it. I got this spray, this little tree with um, with the pine cones and the berries and the eucalyptus and the pine and the 
maybe spruce. It's really pretty, but it was marked $7.99. And I'm like, y'all are on drugs. I was at the Goodwill. And I asked her, I said, isn't this a little high? And she said, yeah, how about um, $1? And I said, that sounds good to me. She said, we we're supposed to be marking down our Christmas. So today is, um, we went to the antique store the day after Christmas. And this is the Thursday after Christmas. So right before New Year's Eve. So they said they were marking down. So that was a dollar. And this little guy, it's a nice little wooden sign. And it was marked $5.99. $4.99, I'm sorry. And she said, oh no, 99 cent. And I said, that sounds good to me. Um, I also got these, um, these two dark, um, they're cheese, uh, cheese, uh, cheese boxes, cheese um, press, you know, they're like a butter press. I'm sorry, not cheese, butter presses. Um, I got these two to go with my other one. Um, I got those off Macari. I think the two of them together was 18. I got this beautiful candle today. And y'all know I'm funny about candles. I only like soy ones and I'm really funny. But this was a beautiful one and it never been burned. And I got it at the Goodwill and it was $4.99. Um, so it's vanilla, cedarwood, teak, and smoky incense. It smells delicious. That'll look pretty with that gray. Um, and I also wanted to show y'all what I did with my, so I took down my Christmas here, which if you'll recall, I had all my um, Santa figurines here, the salt and pepper shakers and such. So obviously these things are not staying, but I put my um, iron stone bowls that I got in North Carolina here. I got an I have an egg cup and a mini creamer there a Dundee jar and this is a um actually oh this is what I got this is what I got at the antique shop it was five dollars I remember now sorry I'm a little slow um and it's just an hors d'oeuvres hors d'oeuvres seasoning um and it was made by Jay Zachary Rolling Stone, Minnesota. So it's just one of those little tiny crocs. That's what I got. So that makes me feel better. I finally remembered y'all because I thought I was losing it. But that's okay. Here I have an old camera set on several old Bibles. I'm sorry, y'all. My, my basset hound is acting up. So she's playing outside. She's not being mean. She's just playing. So, But I have an old um, Yashika Japanese camera here. Um, with my several little mini Bibles. Here I have a little ironstone pig and I need to put like a wooden spoon coming out of him. And this is a pretty little um, butter pat with a um, creamer on top and a couple of vintage spoons there. I have a whole stack of butter pats, which I am so in love with. I've had those, I bought those off of Macari and I love them. Um, Here's my vintage um, bridal Bible. It's very old, it's from 1900, I think. Um, I, I guess it would be antique. And I have these old, old, old um, buttons, antique buttons in a um, just a jelly jar. I bought this little bloater paste um, crock off of um, Mercari, and I love it, in a shoe mold, an old West Clock clock. I love clocks and um, my little um, a little grater I love these things especially if you put like a tea light underneath they're just so pretty and um, they put out such a pretty glow here I have a, a wooden um, decorative piece there just like wood um, here I have a collection in a cheese box of old New Testament Bibles, and I love them. Not all of them are extremely old, but there are some, like this one right here on the end is so old, and then there's quite a few old ones in there. And then most of these I've gotten free, like at um, Salvation Army or the thrift store or something, but mm, I think at the most I've paid for them is $5 because I'm cheap, so. And I have a beautiful, big, old, um, um, flower frog up there, glass flower frog. Um, another couple things that I got at the thrift store today, and y'all please excuse my house, I'm like tearing everything apart. So I got these cute, 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 I got a set of green ones, 
two green ones, little stockings. These were 99 cent a piece and a set of cream ones. And they have a set of red ones and I'm like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna use these for the puppies, but I just think they're so cute. So I got a set of green, two of them, and a set of ivory, two of them, and I just love them. Um, I also got a, more Christmas coming down here. I also got a Demijohn bottle. It's really just the casing over it. doesn't have a bottle in it, but it's close enough to me. And it was $4.99 and she gave it to me for like a dollar. That's where it was marked though. But I don't know where I'm gonna put that, but I just love it. And I got this gorgeous, y'all. This gorgeous, I think it's a chrysanthemum picture but it's got like uh, forget-me-nots and I just thought it was just beautiful I started not to get it but it was $3.99 and I'm gonna put it in the office with my sunflower paintings I think it just looks beautiful so I just love the way that looks and it's in very good shape and it was $3.99 oh huh it was somewhere else for two dollars I got screwed but that's okay I don't mind um, that looks like my um, that looks like um, like the hospice store, but that's okay. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I don't mind. I'm slowly trying to get my Christmas down, y'all. It has been absolutely stupid at work. It's just been crazy, so trying to keep our head above water, but I've come home and gone to bed like several nights in a row because it's just been, I come home and, and eat standing at the stove, eat a little something, and then shower and fall out i got both of these baskets right here they're little tobacco baskets like reproduction i got them both for 5.99 and y'all i have never ever ever at the at the goodwill seen a basket for 2.99 ever 2.99 it's in great shape and i looked y'all y'all Oh, done. It's a longa burger, hand woven from Dresden, Ohio, in 2000. So I'm in love. It's in perfect shape. They had another one that was very similar to this, but it was from Target. But it was like a picnic basket, but it had the same kind of weaving, but it was not in good shape. It was in poor shape. So I got a longa burger basket. Um. 23 years old in perfect condition from the Goodwill. I'm so pleased. Okay, the last thing I got. Er, I hope I don't break my longer burger basket, but I got this cool like shelf slash wall hanging thing. I think I'm going to take these little, I don't know, my daughter got me some sweet little um, inspirational affirmation things. And I may actually put these there, but right now I think I'm just going to take those off and put some of my um, pretty goodies, you know, my stuff, my, my smalls, my antique smalls. I just love the way it looks, but it's a good size, um, so I like it. This is another thing, and I'm sorry, one of my clocks already fell, but I also did this last night. I took down all my Santa mugs and put them here, <laughs> um, and put my antique clock collection and which that's pretty much all of it. I have some bigger ones that I don't know what I did with, but in um, most of my antique camera collection and put them up here. So you have some box cameras like brownies and a lot of the um, West clocks and what's the other brand that I have? Um, Oh, I can't see them from here and I can't read them, but I also put some of my Dundee jars up here and I've gotten two of these recently, the hand, you know, the glove models or whatever, hand models for gloves and stuff. And then I have another Liz Marie Galvin clock right there, but it's fallen down. So, but anyways, I think that is it. I really think that's it, but y'all, I am just loving taking Christmas down. I mean, I hate that it went by so fast, but um, 
it's good that it's, you know, gone. So it's like nice to have a um, easier thing going. So I also um, got this for Christmas. Um, it's a pretty, um, it's a Amazon Echo um, show. And I'm not sure I'm sold on it. I love having the pictures, but I'm not sure about the rest of it. I, I'm able to watch YouTube and I'm able to listen to music, but I um, haven't been able to pull Pinterest up yet. So I'm not really sure about all that, but so far I'm loving it. Um, I took that away. Oh, and I also got under cabinet and y'all, my kitchen is not all that clean right now, but um, I got under cabinet lighting. Isn't that great? Sorry, my purse is out here, but I got under cabinet lighting. And I just love the way it looks. Oh, and my sweet daughter got me this gorgeous, gorgeous gray speckled um, kettle. And it's so pretty. But, oh, and one of my sweet patients gave me these sunflowers today. And I treated myself because I can't find my other ones. I got some new chalk markers, so I got... Um, a set of vintage colors and a set of white and y'all I don't know about y'all but everybody I know has had a sore throat so we are doing the sore throat stuff right now so let me show you over here um, sorry let me put my purse down um, this is what I did with my I still kept my cocoa bar but I took all my Christmas down and everybody says oh get rid of your red but our anniversary like I said is in January so it is January 20th and we got married in 04 so it looks like it's 420 but it's not 420 I just can't I don't have a one and I need to buy it an 010420 wait 01004 <laughs> I do know what they got married. I just, I'm just special. And then this was the year I was born. So I have those together. But I just made it a little more simple. Um, so I have these vintage um, cookie tins or cake tins or whatever they are. And my cocoa and a couple of the um, stir sticks here with peppermint. Another hot cocoa thing. So... It's still um, red, but I love it. So, and I also put my jars in here. So I'll be ready for Thanksgiving or for Valentine's Day as well. All right, guys. I hope y'all have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye. I also got this gorgeous Santa my hubby got from an antique shop for me for Christmas, and I just think he is so handsome. He's got gifts. I love his jacket, his coat boots I just think he's so so pretty look at his gifts here it's got a little animal a little birdie and it's sweet